This short video is going to show you how you can use the new help desk portal to report your IT issue. So the first thing to note is that we are unable to send emails now anymore to helpdesk at lmetb.ie. We need to report them in a port portal. This gives us greater um, information and allows for better reporting for the system. So you'll find a link to this help desk portal on the front of your school website. It will also be on the front of the Louds VEC website as well as the front of the Mead VEC website. In time, when the LME TV website launches, it will be on the front there. So to report it, you simply click on the live logo and it will bring you to this page here. You then log on with your LME TV username and passwords. Students are not able to get in here, so even if they put their username and password, it won't grant them access to the system. So in this case, for this demonstration, this teacher has allowed me to log on with their details. So you put in your full details and the password and log in. If you've logged on to machine, you can select Remember Me or if it's your home machine, you can obviously select Remember Me and then click on Login. So it brings you to this page here um, and you can see that you're logged on as this person. Um, when we come into the site first, the main place that you go to log a ticket is just here. So before I go in here, just have a look at the site. Here on the right hand side will be a scrolling news feed telling you information about latest tickets or issues that affect staff in LMETB. On the left hand side is some um, interesting sites that we can visit later on. So simply to log a ticket, you click on the click here icon. Unfortunately, we're not able to link this picture but we just click on click here. This page opens up so it's like a drop down menu. So simply just categorize your issue and as you move down this red bar will turn to green allowing you move to, showing you that you moved to the site. So in this case I'm going to report an issue with the printer. Where possible select a subcategory. There may be one, there may be not. Um, so in this case these are all problems related to printer issues. So I'm going to say paper jam. Um, this section here gives us an indication of how many people are affected. If it's just you in your classroom, it's a, it could be a single user. If it's the whole school, obviously a printer jam does affect the whole school, so I'm going to select entire site. A short description, this is a bit like what we put in our subject line of our email. Now because I'm logged on as this teacher, I'm Marie O'Brien, um, this teacher knows where I work, knows which school I am, so I don't really need to put in a school address, but if you want to put in to be sure, you can of course put it in. Or if you're working in a youth centre or further education centre, you can put in what exactly building is located, uh, is relating to this issue. So in this case, I'm going to put in photocopier, broken in room B1. And then down here is further information. So in here I can type what exactly the issue is. There is a jam on the copier and oops we cannot print. Okay now when you have your um, issue documented to here you have an option to attach a file or photograph. It's up here on the right hand side and we have asked for this to be increased in size and some have some text beside it to make it easier to be seen but just for this evening you just click on the icon here attachments you browse for the file and you pick it up as normal and then let me see if I go to documents you could pick up the attachment select open and attach okay so you can have that coming in through there and when you're finished just click the Xbox Okay, so when you have it, you'll see there that the document has been listed at the top. And then to simply log this ticket, you select Submit. Okay, so this ticket has been submitted by this user. So because it's the first ticket, um, we have Resolved, Issue, and a new ticket here. So when I can see my chart, I can obviously, as the year goes on, see how many tickets I've logged and how many tickets have been resolved. You could click into anywhere on this site and get some information. This here as well is the issue um, I've just logged, which is the instant. It's given a number, so when I click on it, it will open and it'll give me full information of the issue that I've just logged. If I find that I've actually gone back 
and someone else has done something to the copier and there's additional information I can add it to the ticket at this point so here I can say I tried clearing it earlier but it is worse okay if I say update it's given more information to that ticket so when I go back in here okay you can see full information there on the ticket so if I go back to my page I can see my tickets there now this was a ticket that was issued last week so if I click on it okay this ticket was um, logged by this user there was a problem in room 34 and the engineer who fixed it has now resolved it so you'll find a conversation there for you to have a look at if you feel that the instant has not been solved correctly or to your satisfaction you can reopen that instant by clicking on it, the icon there and you can say it is still not fixed whatever you need and update okay so that there has become over here on the left hand side you have my open incidents Okay, which we can open because we reopened that ticket it's now open any closed tickets will show you there as well so if you go through the year and you can find all your closed tickets and then the last button for my profile here on the left hand side in here is showing you um, your name your title and uh, your email address and here it says to enable notifications you can turn that off to disable if you want but you won't get any information back in emails if you do um, here on the left hand side we obviously don't put in a mobile phone or business phone for you but if you want to put in your mobile phone number you can put it in there and if the help desk need to contact you they will send you a message and um, sometimes it can be useful but that's up to yourself if you do make a change you can just select update okay so again go back to the home page okay so as we move on we are able to um, get full reports um, and instances by schools, by centres, based on the calls that are put through here. The knowledge base will develop in time. In here we put useful information, uh, links to videos, how to um, do certain things, step-by-step -step guides and so on. Again, this is just a sample one to show you, but you can, we will be uploading documents and information in here. So again, back to the home page. And that's simply it. Um, to finish, you just simply select Log Out and it brings you out of the system.